Well, welcome everybody to our October prayer night. We are so excited to have you joining us tonight for this special event. I've got some friends here in the studio with me. I've got uh, our lead pastor, Brandon Connor. What's up, everybody? Hey, hey. And we've also got joining us in the studio today is Mike DeMauro. Man, we're so excited to have you at the table for this month's Big Mike. prayer. Pumped meeting. to be here. It's, it's great. Well, this is going to be an interesting prayer. Uh, meeting. So normally we take a, a topic or a felt need in our community or something that's happening, um, you know, globally or nationally or whatever, and we kind of devote um, our, our prayer night to that end. Um, this one's going to be a little bit different. So tonight's prayer topic is prayer. So, I mean, it, it makes sense. <laughs> But um, I'm really excited about diving into this topic and hear, hearing a little bit more about prayer, specifically about prayer and how it's going to impact and and change our church for the future. And yeah. I, I'm really excited. Yeah, we got some changes absolutely that are taking place, and we want to leverage this not only to pray but to communicate those changes and why. Exactly, exactly. So I think we just kind of dive in. I mean, folks are tuning in right now. Um, they've got the notice that we're, hey, we're live and. Uh, we're coming at you. So yes. uh, let's just dive in. So l thinking about this idea of prayer, um, Brandon, I'm just going to ask you and, and you can kind of get us started in this topic, but why is prayer important? Well, you know, a lot of reasons prayer is important, uh, but I'll start with Jesus. You know, when Jesus was on the earth and Jesus was spending time in the temple and he was you know, trying to set things up in terms of the future of the church, Jesus made a really big point to teach his disciples that my house should be called mm. a house of prayer. And so I do think that, you know, Mosaic is probably known for a lot of great things, but I'm going to be honest, I don't know mm. if we are really known as a house of prayer. And so when we start talking about, man, we want to make some changes, we want to pivot a little bit in the way that we're doing our monthly prayer events. Um, that's really what's driving it is it's this sense that I have, you know, from my time away, I've been thinking a lot about the church and kind of yeah. where are we and where would Jesus want us to be? And one of the things I kind of feel is, man, like we could do this better. And so just want to get, I want to get in tune and in touch with where Jesus would want us to be. And this is an aspect of our church again, where I think Mosaic's known for a lot of great things, but I don't really know for sure if we're known as a place of prayer, you know? And so that's one yeah. of the things that's, I think, kind of stirring in my spirit. I think the other reason that prayer is so important is to think about why would Jesus say this? Because in John 15, Jesus taught us, and he said that apart from me, you can do nothing. And mm. so what I really do believe is I believe that there are a lot of gifted churches, and maybe even Mosaic is one of those some days, where the people are gifted and they find themselves doing ministry in their own power, but they're not getting the results that they could be getting. Mm. And so what I want to see is I want to see us make sure that we are the kind of church that is known as a house of prayer. I want to make sure that we're the kind of church where we understand that we can do nothing, literally nothing of eternal value, nothing of eternal significance, nothing of real genuine life change, apart from Christ. And so I want us to be more intentional about leaning into Jesus, expressing our need, our dependence on him for the ministry that he's called us to do. Yeah. I don't want Mosaic Church to be a church where there's a lot of gifted people who are doing ministry in their own power. I want to be a church that says, man, we're inviting the power of God, yeah. the kind of power that we see in the book of Acts mm -hmm. into this church where we're all standing back going, we're not that good. God is doing things that we could never even take credit for yeah. because his power is on display in a mighty way. Yeah, that's great. I, I You're absolutely right. And so I, I think it would be appropriate for us since we're here yeah. um, at a prayer night is maybe just to, to kick things off with a prayer and just, you know, confess and repent that, hey, we maybe haven't al always prioritized prayer here at Mosaic. Uh, but but maybe right now, just kind of, you know, drawing a line in the sand and saying, you know what, from here on out, God, yes. we're going to do that. Putting so, a stake in the ground. I love that. Yeah. Brandon, would you just pray for us? Absolutely. That end? Absolutely. Uh, God, we do just um, stop right here, right now at the beginning of this prayer event. And we do just want to confess to you um, that we haven't always made prayer the priority that it needs to be at Mosaic. And God, for that, we are truly sorry. 
Um, God, we um, repent of that. We confess that to you. And we just express to you right here today that we want to change in that regard, God. We want to be a house that is known as a house of prayer. We want people to know, man, that those people pray, and because they pray, they see God working in supernatural ways, not natural ways. Um, God, we just confess to you that um, far too many times we have depended on our own power and our own gifts and our own abilities. And God, from this day forward, we really want to be a church. We really want to be a people that are not depending on ourselves, but we're depending on you. We're not depending on our hard work. We're depending on your supernatural work to see things happen that that just could not be explained apart from you. God, we want to be an only God kind of church, uh, the kind of church that really looks at what's going on around here and says, man, only God could do something like that. Only God could bring people into a saving relationship with his son, Jesus Christ. Only God God could save families and marriages and break addictions. Only God Mm -hmm. could create the kind of life change that we're seeing around here. And God, we just want this to be a defining moment in the life of Mosaic Church where we get back to being the kind of church that you want us to be. And so, God, we thank you for your grace Mm -hmm. for when we get it wrong. And we just pray, God, that you would just continue to help us as we try to make changes and get it right and just be the church that you want us to be. Be a church that just lives in a constant spirit of prayer because we know that the prayers of a righteous man really can't accomplish much. And that's what we want to see, God. And so just thank you for your grace and pray that you'll help us in the future to get it right. And we pray these things in genuine spirit in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thanks, Brandon. Yeah, man. Well, that's that's exciting. Um, you know, you're back, and like you said, you, you've given a lot of thought to this, and 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 maybe have some ideas and stuff of what that's going to look like moving forward. So, so talk to us a little bit about what that that looks like, because I mean, we've been doing these online prayer events for a while. Before that, we were doing you know prayer events here on Thursday nights and stuff yeah. like that. So, tell us what that might look like moving forward here at the church. Yeah. Well, I want to start by just kind of telling people kind of the why we were where we were and just remind people um, we don't want to make excuses but if you think back over the last couple of years and kind of how did we get where we where we have been in terms of the way we've been doing our prayer nights kind of started with covid um you know we didn't really know much about covid at the time and you know we were trying to listen to people who knew a whole lot more than we did Mm -hmm. and we're just trying to err on the side of caution and say hey man let's just be careful and so we did we moved a lot of things from in person to online and our prayer event was one of those things yep and so kind of got online for a long time that way and then the second thing that happened is we had some staffing changes Mm -hmm. and so even after covid was gone it was like okay we're going to bring the prayer event back to an in-person service and it was like well we do those on thursday night and i was kind of having to take ownership for it and on <laughs> thursday night i got something else going on it's yeah, called a church just service. a little something yeah it starts at seven o'clock and so it was really hard for me to do that at six and mm-hmm. then be in the auditorium yeah. you know greeting people thanking volunteers prepping to preach worshiping myself and so it was like one of those things where I just kind of look back and because of, you know, circumstances and because of staffing changes, we kind of been living in a place where we've been trying to make prayer a priority. I think we had good intentions, yeah. Um, but we were just doing the best we could given the situation that we found ourselves sure. in. But again, like, it's like, we didn't feel like we were hitting the mark. Mm-hmm. And so it was like, okay, how do we make some changes? How do we make some adjustments? And so, you know, that really is kind of where we're, we're trying to get it right. And so, you know, in my mind, I think, you know, as we think about it, we want to get back to in-person prayer events yeah. and we want to do those here. That's awesome. We want to gather people together. We want the house of Mosaic, the house of the Lord to be a house of prayer. Mm-hmm. So that means calling people who are passionate about prayer to come here and really pray with us. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Not not necessarily doing events, <laughs> not necessarily, you know, trying to touch on a big felt need in the community, but just getting back to this idea of what did it look like for people to pray in the New Testament? What's it look like for us to pray in a similar way today? Yeah, that's great. Well, that's exciting because I know people love, uh, you know, being together. And, and that time is so special when we can get together with a team and pray over a specific need or yep. a specific topic or whatever. Yep. And that's a big reason why Mike is with us here today. Talk a little bit about that, Brandon. 
Yeah, you know, Mike is a guy that has just been so faithful here. Uh, you know, Mike's been around. How long? You've been here way longer than I have. Just about 10 years. So about yeah. 10 years. And so he's creeping in on the 10-year mark. And so, <laughs> you know, Mike's been our staff team for a little while now in a couple of different capacities. And one of the things that he's starting to do is he's starting to step up and take on some responsibilities outside and beyond student ministry. Yeah. And so one of the things he's going to be doing is leading up the prayer charge That's and going, great. hey, you know what? If we got prayer events and stuff that were happening on Thursday night and our lead pastor can't do that, then somebody's got to step up so that we can get this right. And Mike's going to do that for us. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm super excited. <laughs> Mike's a great guy. If you don't know Mike, you need to get to know Mike. Yes, um, absolutely. He loves Jesus and he loves people. And that's what Mosaic's all about. Great. So Mike, I've got a question for you then. So uh, as you think about building this prayer team and this prayer ministry, talk to us a little bit uh, you know, about what you're looking for. Tell us your, your vision of what you know, this team might look like and uh, just tell us a little bit more. Yeah, about absolutely. So I, I just kind of start by hitting on what you were talking about with the, you know, the prayer events. I think prayer mm -hmm. events have been great. You know, obviously we want to get back together, but I want to move past prayer being an event. Mm -hmm. And I really want to see prayer become part of our culture and our DNA. Here yes. in Jose. Just like you said, I want to be known as a house of prayer. And I'm not saying we're not going to gather together and do events. Of course we will, but I, I want it to go much deeper than that. You yeah. know, one of the um, you know, scriptures that I was kind of thinking about coming into this was in Ephesians 6. You know, Paul goes through and he teaches, um, you know, the armor of God, talking about spiritual warfare. And then mm. he goes into uh, verses 18 through 20. It says, and pray in the spirit on all occasions mm. with all kinds of prayer requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep praying on the Lord's people Pray also for me, whatever I speak, that words may be given to me to fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel mm. for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I would declare it fearlessly mm. as I should. So right after this section of spiritual warfare, Paul is really getting into, hey, we need to be praying not only for me in the situation that I'm in, but we need to be praying for all requests and all occasions, you know, pray without ceasing, you know, getting back to that. Um, yeah. And I really want to reflect on that as we're building our prayer team or kind of rebuilding it, if you will, because I know that a lot of people were on that team in years past and we're going to reach back out to them and get them yeah. back. But I see a day where when we're getting prayer requests, um, we get a lot, we get a lot, we get them, we get them online. Mm -hmm. I know you, you see a lot of yep. them on social media. Um, I know that we get a lot of connect cards. Mm -hmm. A lot of them come through just conversations yep. that, you know, yeah. our elders are having, our volunteers are having with people. We get flooded with prayer requests, but one of the things, and again, I don't think we've hit the mark is like, who's praying mm -hmm. for these people? You know, I, I know that we do a great job of, of, you know, consolidating all these lists and sending them out to people and, hey, please be praying for this. But I see a day where we have a robust team that when we have a prayer request come in, mm. I know, hey, this person is praying for this family or yeah. whatever that need is. And not only that, this person's following up with them and That's checking good. in on them, you yeah. know, next week or next month or whatever that looks like. Yeah. So that not only we're, we're praying, we're following up with people because at the end of the day, if we're just sending out prayers yeah. and not following up with people to know that like, hey, we want to celebrate what God is doing, yeah. you yeah. know, because I think that's huge. And you want to talk about a, a just something inspiring to, you know, to show people the value of prayer. When we can see and celebrate God working and moving in people's lives, I think it's going to be huge. So I think really our goal is to fill this team with people. Um, and here's the deal. You don't need any special skills. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You don't, you don't have to have the gift of, of teaching. You don't have to have, you know, you, you don't have to love hanging out with kids and mo kids, you know, sure. you can, if you just have a heart of prayer and, mm -hmm. and you just really have a passion for connecting with God and, and going and praying on behalf of people, mm -hmm. um, then we've got a place for you on, on this team. I That's mean, it, it's as simple as that. Um, yep. You know, and we just really want to make sure that we're doing our best to make sure that every prayer request that comes in is not just like a, a shot out there that, you know, somebody wrote on a connect card and like, well, I hope somebody's praying for me. We yeah, want yeah, them to yeah. know that someone's praying for them. It's yeah. Great. And I mean, I, I think, it, you know, in the last few years, I mean, we get the prayer list and, you know, Donna on our team, she sends it out to all the staff and all the elders job, yeah. and does a great job of making sure we stay informed. But I got to tell you, man, like I had two conversations yesterday one with an elder and one with my wife. And both of them basically said, man, right now the prayer list is like depressing to look at yeah. because there are so many people 
who are struggling in really severe ways. There's yeah. a, almost always a handful or more of people who are battling cancer, cancer. and they're mm-hmm. fighting for their life. Right now on our prayer list, we have some people who have lost children, yeah. who have who know that they're carrying a baby that they will not see you know, live and enjoy life with. And so, I mean, people are carrying really heavy stuff. And here's what I know. Not only do we want to invite God to go to work in those situations, right. whether it's work a miracle or work in their life so that their understanding of God is pure and true and consistent with what Scripture teaches so that they don't start to believe lies about who God is and how God feels about them or is God punishing them. But, but man, we want to make sure that we care for these people. Right, right. And I think prayer is a way in which, man, they ask us, they invite us into their life and their situation. And, yes, we're praying, but they need to hear from us. They right. need to know because here's what I believe. I believe that a church will never grow beyond its ability to care for people. Yeah. And so if people don't feel cared for, mm. like a sheep being cared for by a shepherd, then it's just going to be hard for them to navigate these unbelievably difficult circumstances in their life and then just continue to walk faithfully with God. And so we've got a responsibility there, not just to pray, but to follow up with right. people, care yeah. for them really, really well. And I think that that goes to you know just establishing and building relationships. I mean, we have people walking through the door that are brand new to Mosaic. They fill out a prayer request and and they get that phone call from somebody. There's an opportunity for that person to minister to this family mm-hmm. for yep. for years down the road. I mean, we are creating yep. ministry opportunities. Yep. You know. And so. that has to that has to extend beyond staff and elders. Correct. Yeah. You know, if if all we do is we keep it among those people, then we're we're really robbing people of the opportunity to be a part of what God's doing yep. through Mosaic Church. We're robbing people of the opportunity to do real ministry with right. people who need someone to step into their life and love them well and build a connection there. So I think being a part of the prayer team is one of those opportunities to not just pray, but to actually be a part of the ministry mm-hmm. that God is doing. And I'm exactly. telling you, that's where you find meaning in your life. Mm-hmm. That's where you find real purpose is when you get involved in the great work that God's doing in the yeah, world. Absolutely. It's going to help a big church feel small. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. And that's what we want, man. Yeah. We don't want this place to feel like a cold, impersonal place. That's right. not the New Testament church. And so by building a prayer team of people who are passionate about prayer, yeah. man, we can get there. That's great. Yep. It's going to be good for the church. It's going to be good for the people who are hurting in our church. And then yeah. it's going to be good for the people who are looking for purpose yeah. and who want to be a part of the great things that God's doing. Absolutely. Well, Mike, if, if it would be cool, I'd love uh, just for us to spend um, some time praying uh, for this prayer team, for these yeah. people that maybe God's tugging on their heart as they're seeing this video and they're like, that's something that I want to get involved with. And I would love for you to pray for us, pray for them, pray for our plans in the new year Absolutely. as God puts this team together and pray for the impact that they're going to have in the yeah. lives of hurting people yeah. and in the in the, in the the life of our church. Absolutely. So pray for All us, right. buddy. Lord, we, uh, we just really do uh, humbly come to you now and just thank you so much um, for the work that we're seeing you do in people's lives, um, not only here at Mosaic, but just all around the world. We are so thankful for your love and for your mercy. And Lord, I just, I, I want to pause for a second. Um, you know, Brandon mentioned so many of the the people that are on our current prayer list right now that are hurting and, mm-hmm. and that are really in a place where, where a lot of them are fighting for their lives or facing just really, really hard situations. And Lord, I just, I lift them all up to you right so now. Hard. I, I pray that you would bring them uh, peace that, that really does just go beyond anything that we can understand and that they would feel your presence and your comfort. I yes, pray for Jesus. healing for those that need healing. And Lord, I just, I ask that you would just lift these people up, Lord. Um, and Lord, I, I pray um, for anyone out there um, who is listening to this and that they are feeling this draw um, to to lift up people in prayer and to maybe join this team. Lord, I just pray that they would just Mm -hmm. uh, understand that there's there's not a special qualification needed, Um, that, you know, maybe the things that are in their life that aren't perfect that stop us from kind of jumping on a team or or doing ministry. Lord, anything that might be a a barrier, Lord, I pray that you would just tear that down. And Lord, that you would just really reach people's hearts right now. I pray that everyone listening to this would understand that prayer is direct access to the God that loves us and created us, Lord. We don't need anyone to to intercede on our behalf in prayer. We have direct access Mm -hmm. to you. And I pray that as a church, that we would 
honor that and, and spend time with you in prayer every single day. And Lord, I just pray that as you grow this team, that you would bring the right people, that you would uh, understand or help people understand that their their gifts can be used in a mighty way to do the work of ministry. Just a simple phone call, Lord. Mm-hmm. Remind them that just little touches like that, just a prayer and a phone call, and maybe you know just meeting the person here at church and just encouraging them, Lord. Those things can do so much in someone's life, and you can use us to do amazing things, Lord. And I just pray for the right people. I pray that mm-hmm. as we head into this next year, that Lord, Mosaic's culture would really shift, and that we would be known as a house of prayer, Lord. Mm-hmm. Um, and I would pray that this team would just grow and grow, and that the people would. Would be blessed not only um, the people that are praying but the people that are being prayed for would just be blessed for lord we love you we thank you for all the work that you're doing here uh, and ask that you just continue to to grow and develop this team as we move forward in jesus name amen amen that's amen. awesome that's awesome yeah. well excite that's exciting news uh you know i know we have a lot of uh folks that have been part of our prayer team in the past people that you know had made the transition when we went online and they're doing their they're praying over those requests like in a social distance culture you know what i mean they're they're just getting emails and stuff so it's exciting news for them because it's time to rally the troops hey we're gonna bring the our our monthly prayer events back in house but also exciting for a new group of people maybe folks that are watching for the first time or people that have been tuning into these online uh prayer nights that we've had so mike maybe i'll put you on the spot here real quick as we close like what is the best way for somebody that's new or may feel the call to join this team what's the best way a ne- maybe a next step for them um, like is there an online form that they can fill yeah, out i mean honestly i think right now uh, we don't have any form set up but if they just want to shoot me an email and it's really simple it's mike at mosaicgc.com. nice um simple as that shoot me an email let me know um if you're in the building um grab a connect card you know we don't have a box that's or a box that says I want to join the prayer team. Ah, but you just, probably just write just it. right there in the notes. Yeah. Like, hey, interesting. Write it joining. on the prayer request yeah, ex- side. Exactly. <laughs> there so, is a prayer request yeah, blank. Yeah. Just, I want to join the prayer team. I'm praying that they will let me join the prayer <laughs> yeah, team. There we go. There yeah. we go. So, I mean, honestly, uh, you know, shoot me an email. But anytime you're in the building, just let any staff member know, like, yeah. hey, I'm really interested in that. That's great. And um, or any of our volunteers at the Connect Desk, and and they'll they'll get you. Uh, hooked up with me and, and awesome. I'll reach out and we'll uh, we'll talk about what this looks like and, and get this ball moving and I'm excited to do yeah. it. Yeah. And keep your ear to the ground because we'll be promoting through all of our channels our monthly prayer dates yep. um, for those meetings and those are open for anyone you yep. know not just a, a certain people that we're inviting to that those are open for anyone to attend and so if you just want to come and check it out Absolutely. and what it might look like to be part of those you are definitely welcome as well but if you're here in the building grab a connect card or email Mike at mosaicgc.com. He'll get you the info. It's exciting. I'm excited. Awesome. awesome. Well, yeah. thank you so much for joining us for our monthly prayer night. And uh, just thank you so much for uh, for hanging with us as we've done these online prayer events. And we're excited to see how God's going to continue to use this important ministry in the next year. Very exciting. Thanks so much for being here, guys. Yeah, I guess we're done. Yeah. We're out. Peace out. <laughs> Nobody knows how to end this thing. Huh? <laughs> Nobody knows how to end it. We'll see you guys. It's the power of editing, there you go, right, Miguel? <laughs> <laughs>